So you might be in a situation where for some reason your voicemail is not working on your iPhone. Now, what does this mean? Well, basically, maybe whenever you make your way over to your specific phone call, whenever you make your way over to your specific phone call application and you click on voicemail, either there's no voicemails available or there's nothing, or maybe that voicemail option is missing. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your specific cell phone provider is accessible on your phone and you don't have some weird like cell issue. So you can figure this out by making your way over to your cell phone or your cellular options within your iPhone. And you want to make sure you have some sort of cell plan here. If it says it like set up cellular or something like that, voicemail is not going to work on your phone. Now, it's, if it's a voice, if it's a FaceTime voicemail or something like that, then that's a little bit of a different story. But if for some reason you're missing out on these types of voicemail options here, well, that's going to be the main problem. So just make sure that you do have some sort of cell option available and make sure you have, you know, you've set up your cellular options here. Now, if that doesn't work, another thing you may want to try doing is making sure that your cell phone provider provides visual voicemail. If they don't, most of them, I would say 99% of them do, but sometimes they may not and your voicemail may not show up because your cell phone provider doesn't support it. So make sure that is the case as well. Now, on top of that, another thing you may want to try doing is going through and basically just restarting your phone. So hold down the buttons that you normally would to restart your device. So you can hold them down like this. So light the power off, turn it back on, and that might end up fixing the problem for some people too. If that still doesn't work, you may want to try updating your iPhone. So go through inside of your iPhone settings like this. You want to scroll down until you see general, which is right here. You then want to go into software update, which is right here. And then what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and update your iPhone. This right there can be another thing you may want to try doing. And personally for me, that's another thing I've you know personally tried and it can probably end up fixing the problem too. So those are the main ways to go and fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.